My name is Constance Dolores Howard. When I enrolled in Pierce School in 1952, I enrolled as Constance Dolores Carlos. I grew up in Philadelphia. I attended George Washington and McMichael Elementary School and I also went to Shoemaker Middle School and West, I graduated from West Philadelphia High School. I really can't remember but in the end I decided it must have been a good school for me. The course was for two years, but they informed us that we could finish at our own pace. And I did it in a year and a half. I took courses in typing, shorthand, math, and business English, and I still have the book on the business English and that was 62 years ago. I also took up psychology and a few other secretarial courses. I do remember the Dean, Dean Hamilton, he called me into his office and he informed me that I was the first American colored female to attend that school at that time. No problems for me at that time. Although it was racial tension around the country, I did not personally experience racial prejudice. I had a strict upbringing and we weren't allowed to attend anything after school. No, I didn't work after school. I was living with my grandparents at the time. The school sent me out on several interviews. After graduation, my first job was at Philadelphia General Hospital, where I did stenography shorthand, typing for the doctors in the psychiatric ward, where we always had excitement. I worked for the Army in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, before I moved to California. After deciding to stay in California, I transferred to the Navy. Then I met and married my husband, Willie Howard, of 50 plus years. And we had four children, and I retired with 27 years from the government. After 50 plus years with my husband, Willie Howard, he passed away in 2010, and I really miss him. I would tell myself to put my best foot forward, study hard, and stay focused, because I was a very, very determined young girl. Well, I would say that you can overcome any obstacles. Rely on your strength of your own character. Believe what you accomplish will make a difference in the world. On April the 3rd of this year, I will be 80 years old. This is really something wonderful for me to experience. I want to thank the Pierce alumni for allowing me to be a part of your Black History Month and 150 year celebration. Thank you, thank you, thank you.